Well, we have um, been very fortunate to receive a new pumper to uh, Grove Community and the Grove Fire Department uh, just recently, within the last 30 days. And as we were maneuvering things around in the station and trying to you know, get things organized, um, we had a few made some suggestions. Hey, you know, they got the new program at AIT, and I understand they need a, a truck or an apparatus to, to have realistic training on. So we started chatting amongst ourselves and decided, hey, why don't we just donate that? And it'll benefit not only the Grove community, but the entire county. And if you have people in your community who might be interested in being a volunteer uh, firefighter with your, your group, tell them how they can get in touch with you, what they can do. They can contact me at, uh, you know, at the fire department or they can go by Anderson County uh, Fire Headquarters on McGee Road. That's actually uh, where they need to fill out their application. And of course, they'll tell them where they live and what part of the county and then they will, they will get the appropriate uh, applications to what chief uh, needs to view them. And y'all can always use good volunteers, right? Oh, yes, sir. All the time. <laughs> Have you noticed our volunteers dropping a little in recent years? or? Well, it comes and goes, but I mean, it's, you know, our community is pretty close-knit, and uh, it's usually kind of tradition. Uh, I'm kind of there now because my grandfather and my father was there, so, and that's, that's usually how a lot of it happens. But, but programs like this uh, can feed all of our volunteer departments in the county, and I think it's going to be an excellent program. Thanks, Marty. Appreciate it. It'll give them more realistic training of working with a fire truck versus just working off of a water supply like a hydrant. It'll give them some hands-on experience on how to pack hose properly, how to deploy that hose off the truck properly while it's charged. And how does owning a truck, uh, how is that better than just somebody just loaning you one from here and there? Well, if it's being loaned, obviously, if they come into a deficit where they need one somewhere, the truck's got to leave here, which could hinder us on our, on our training a little bit and set us back a little bit. So having it here donated to the school being ours, it's kind of at our disposal anytime we need it. Well, I think, you know, the donation obviously saves the center money and uh, something we can never afford. So the donation itself is really a contribution to the ongoing program here. So we're excited about having the donation to enhance our program. And Michael, do you have some of your students who are interested in getting into the volunteer fire? Yes, sir. We have several that have just recently just applied to some stations and some that are already members at stations uh, and we encourage that. Obviously we want to make sure that we, uh, with the support the county gives us, we want to make sure we're giving back to the, to the county and to our communities. And that's very important to us. Kathy, the AIT is finally underway and now they're getting donations to do some things like this hands-on stuff. How, how, how important is that, is, is that for your district? It is very important for our district because it shows that um, Anderson 3 is totally bought into the, the process and the the um, vision to have hands-on uh, credential bearing courses for our students and I think it just makes everything relevant and it gives them realistic learning opportunities. And you think they're gonna let you drive the fire truck at all? I doubt it. I doubt it. Uh, I'll, I'll get in it and maybe take a picture but you don't want me behind the wheel. <laughs> Institute of Technology is up and running and talk a little bit about how this donation today helps make uh, the mission uh, better and more possible. Well, we just, number one, we're appreciative for this donation to our uh, firefighter program. Uh, we think it's one of our highlights of our of AIT, this program. We have a lot of students in it, great instructor. And this is just another example of the community and, and the school districts, uh, three, four, and five, coming together to provide real-life, hands-on experience for our students. And uh, I asked Kathy this, do you think they'll let the superintendents drive the fire truck at all? Well, I think we should be able to drive it in the Christmas parade. 